hi team so today we are going to talk about pali gamma and i am always interested in small vision language models that can do you know different multimodal task and this specific model pali gamma or i would say set of models uh, are by google and if you see the official documentation what it says is it's actually combination of two models which is sigal ip for vision as well as gemma language model and the beauty of this is you know it combines both of them and it can do things like you know recognizing captioning object detection and you know reading text embeddings within images so again the good thing about it is it's pretty lightweight and it's by google and the way it works is something like this so basically what happens is it takes you know a uh, one or more images and it also takes you know something called prefix or maybe prompt as input so this is image and the another one is text and once it gets it you know both of them are like say concatenated and uh, you know it is passed to the gamma decoder and the output is then generated by gamma so that's how it works on so i think there are like couple of uh, possibilities that i can see for example uh, i was always doing these sort of things where i just wanted to understand you know tables as well as forms so let's say for example i can ask some questions within forms i can ask you know some queries for the tables and all so in today's tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to have some use cases two three use cases and we will see how does the gamma 3 performed so let's jump in so on hugging face uh, we'll find all the collections by google for all their models including pali gamma so pali gamma has different categories for example uh, pre trained fine tuned and mix and by reading the documentation what i found was that uh, mix are the models that we should use for the document understanding task so here is my collab notebook so first of all i am using l4 and what i did was i mounted a specific drive then what i did was uh, you know pretty standard thing of loading all my uh, environment variables that i use regularly again i am just uh, setting the hf token so i'm not doing anything extra than that then what we try to do is we try to install different libraries for example you know uh transformers you know accelerate bits and bytes and one thing to note is because gamma just came few days ago or my bad pali gamma came few days ago so basically what we need to do is we need to have the latest transformers version so basically rather than installing using you know pip install what we are trying to do is we are doing it you know using pip install get the new transformers uh, you know package so basically whatever is the latest bleeding edge that is going to be installed in the collab notebook so that's how uh, it is going to perform and then what we are doing is we are loading the model so again you know uh, standard thing for example uh, you know uh, we are just specifying uh, the specific model and if you see here you know there are like plethora of models that are given and you know uh, we are just trying to load one of the models so here is what we are trying to do so we load that model and we load the processor also and once we do it uh, then we are trying to see how it performs for different uh, task so what i have done is i have written a specific uh, function which accepts two things so one is image path as well as prompt and again taking inspiration from here where basically you can pass a image and you can pass a prompt and at the end this is what is uh, passed to the gamma decoder uh, and you know the output is generated so specifically this is what exactly is happening so you need to specify one image path uh, within google drive and then a prompt so if you see the first problem statement i have this form and this is basically an invoice which you know different dates like you know start date and end date and you know shipping address and so on so let me 
ask it first time the question so i'm i just specified you know for this vision form.png which is for this image describe the image so it says it's not an invoice but it says it's a project management template okay fine then i asked it what is the date and and i was expecting it to give this but yeah it gave me the year which is 2023 okay not bad then I, then what i said is find all dates and their meaning so i just wanted to extract this date and this date but it gave me sorry as a base vlm i am not trained to answer this question okay that's fine then the next problem statement what i wanted to give it was uh, you know a table and i just wanted to you know describe it and maybe able to extract some information so again i said you know describe this image and uh, what it give me was you know it's a invoice details okay fine then i said find all product descriptions so my intention was can it find all the product descriptions but it says sorry as a base vlm i'm not trained to answer this question so maybe basically we may have to fine tune for our own use case that's okay then the most toughest problem that i gave it to it was you know a prospectus so if you see this is a you know a initial public offering prospectus and it contains couple of complex things and i just wanted to extract few things out of it for example can i get the identity number can i get the date of incorporation can i get the website url and so on so let's see how does it performs and this is all public in nature so i can definitely use it so first of all i gave you know summarize summarize this image it says in this image we can see a poster okay this is a prospectus but okay i can definitely see you know it identifying it as a poster that's fine on the poster we can see text and a qr okay and seems yes there is a qr so it was able to identify although it says it's a poster which is little aberrant now the second thing which i which i said was what is the name of the company so this prospectus is for a company called delivery limited and exactly it was able to identify so that's pretty good then i asked what is the registration address so let's see what did it find out so registration address if you see is you know new delhi uh and there is a pin code given so yeah it's close i mean it's not perfect for example pin code is not perfect but uh, yeah it's able to at least find out exactly you know few things so which is okay decent enough then i said give me the corporate identity number and it extracted something called corporate identity number which is u525 so let's see it's something like u6309 and so on but okay it is pretty close uh, at least to find out where the things are then i said give me the date of incorporation it gave me something like 94 and if you see the date of incorporation it is june 22 2011 so okay maybe it failed here then i said give me the website url with this image and it says delivery.in uh the actual website is delivery.com and that's what i intend to you know extract it out so i would say uh given its size it did a pretty decent job definitely it failed or you know it came up with the answers which are not there in these forms but anyways uh you know the answers are pretty much good so maybe i will what we as a part of next steps what we have to do is maybe if we can fine tune maybe we will get better results so anyways team that's it for today thank you so much thanks for watching bye